Hello guys, in this video we will learn about how to run PySpark applications in PyCharm. Like the video, share the video and subscribe to my channel. So before going into the actual uh, code, I just want to mention about my blog which is VoltaQ. So I have started writing few posts on uh, you know PySpark and Scala Spark and few of the stuff on the AWS and I'm going to explore or you know increase into different programming languages but with respect to what we are hearing in this current uh, video uh, I want to say about uh, you know about Spark so I have started writing few uh, posts on the Spark with what is Spark and how to set up Spark in your local and what is optimizations and how to read the multi-line JSONs what is Spark versus MapReduce so there are multiple contents on it so if you guys you know wanted to read it uh, so this could be a beginner level uh, it would be helpful uh, helpful for you guys so let's go into the uh, actual code part which we want to uh, go so i have created a project which uh, named as demo underscore uh, demo project and i have a python file which is spark environment underscore setup.py so if you see here the two lines which is stated to set the environment variables for a uh, program uh, which is referring to the PySpark libraries. So I don't have access to my environment variables so I wanted to somehow run the uh, PySpark applications in my PyCharm so I have used the OS uh, as module and the system, uh, you know, system as a module to uh, add these two variables. So Spark's home is going to refer to the main PySpark module and uh, system path is going to append the uh, you know PySpark bin uh, libraries to the existing uh, environment variables which is refers to path uh. okay so let's see the imports uh, I have imp uh, imported Py uh, you know PySpark spark session uh, using the PySpark.sql uh, module and uh, imported OS to set the PySpark home and sys to set the you know uh, path for the PySpark bin. So here is my syntax which help me to or help everyone to you know create the spark session uh, variable. So after you you know come to uh, this point then we need to spec uh, you know check uh, is our spark session is working or not let's try to print the spark object so here i was uh, i'm trying to run the uh, my code or python uh, code so it's good it's setting up the uh, pyspark environment and yeah here here we are able to see the pyspark object which means that uh, pycharm is accessing the pyspark libraries and creating the object for me Let's see an another example which will uh, help to run a uh, few data frames or a data frame on uh, Spark session. So I'm going to uh, declare a uh, you know data frame as a name range as country f, and uh, using the Spark session, I'm going to uh, you know uh, create a data frame which has a numbers from one to nine. So this 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 is not an error. This is just kind of a uh, indentation thing. So just use the space and yeah. So let's print the data frame uh, which prints from one to nine. Here it comes. So it print uh, you know print printed the Spark object. Yeah. So we have our data frame here. So data frame is created with a column as ID, uh, which is coming from the range function, which is uh, in a Python function, and it's printing the uh, uh, you know rows from one to nine. This is being printed from the uh, data frame dot show. So show is an uh, action in the Py, you know uh, Spy Spark or an uh, Spark shell where it's going to trigger the actual flow to give the end result. <laughs> 